Hello everybody, welcome to another video of Bianco Nero in the US. It's Davide from uh, Torino, Italy, talking to you though from Charleston, South Carolina. And here we are, Juventus Lazio 1-0, quarterfinal of Coppa Italia. We won 1-0 gold of uh, Bremer, nice header, and I'm fine, guys. I'm fine. It's not going to be one of those days where we're going to talk about uh, making sort of analysis. Did we play good? Did we play bad? Should have been in chair? I'm totally fine. In the moment that we are, this is gold. This is gold. Uh, after the disasters of the 2-0 uh, internal loss with the Monza, I'm totally, I'm totally fine. I'm totally fine. It was a good Juventus, a decent Juventus. One of those Juventus that we used to see, uh, in my opinion, before when we ate, uh, we won eight uh, uh, games in a row. Uh, quite defensive, we knew, very compact, very close lines between the midfield, defense and attack. Uh, but at the same time, uh, uh, ready to find our chances with where we deserve to win. The first half in particular, I really like the authority, the, our presence uh, on the field. The goal was very good. Um, I liked it, guys. I didn't recognize the team from Monza. Maybe the feeling was of that one of a team that finally played with a little bit more uh, without care, without being super uh, concentrated, uh, you know, concerned about what's going on. We have only 23 points. Uh, we lost uh, at Napoli. We lost now with Monza. No, it seems like the, the team totally was just... Uh, happy, free to, to play, still concentrated on the game, but feel sort of freedom. I liked it. I really had a positive feeling and uh, I didn't expect that. Lazio was in a great moment. Lazio is a team who just a few days ago uh, gave uh, one 4-0 against uh, uh, AC Milan. And I think they shot in the goal once in the whole game. Uh, Cataldi on the free kick that Perin... Uh, was able to save without uh, without much problem. We had several chances. The goal of Bremer with uh, the goal he could have done better uh, with uh, uh, Kostic, the great save from Maximiliano. In the second half, Ken, I really like the energy th that he, he brought in. Um, <clears throat> I'm happy. Did you know that Chiesa, for the first time we saw Chiesa and Vlaovic, did you know that Chiesa and Vlaovic never played together at Juventus before last night uh, tonight? The last time they played together was at Fiorentina, when uh, they both were super young, in 2019. Uh, I liked Vlaovic. I liked the way he moved. I like how he tried to fight in the struggle. You can tell he doesn't have 90 minutes uh, in his legs yet, but I, I really like... I really like his presence. I'm fine with Rabiot. I like the three guys in the back. It was nice to see Quadrado finally active over where... And I'm happy to have seen again the Juventus compact without conceding uh, any single chance to our opponent. The one that we saw from uh, um, October, beginning of October to the first week of November before uh, the break. And, and I'm fine with that. I'm fine. You know, it was very important to win this game. Uh, going through the semi-final in Coppa Italia guarantee a couple of million dollars more in revenue, which is we know how much our finances know that. We're going to have a semi-final uh, with Inter, which for sure is going to be another two, three million euro in revenue for the stadium, for the, the ticket selling at the stadium. We needed it. Now it's going to be... It's an interesting Coppa Italia. Juventus-Inter is the one semi-final. Fiorentina-Cremonese is the other one. Seems like uh, this semi-final is going to be the final. Uh, but I want to win. I want to win so bad. I want a revenge from uh, last year Coppa Italia final with them. I'm very happy that we went through. Uh, and I'm very happy that we played a solid game against one of the team who is performing the best in Serie A right now. Uh, Lazio. Uh, Lazio did a lot of possession in the second half. They, they passed a lot the ball around our box, but at the end they never found that. They really never found that chance that would have justified a draw, a 1-1, which is why Juventus' victory is definitely, is definitely deserved. I'm happy. I mean, I, I would say that my mood now is a little bit better compared to compared to a few days ago, of course. The good thing is now is that we have several days to rest because we're going to play at Salernitana in Serie A on Tuesday. So we have a Friday, Saturday, Monday, uh, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday. We have a few days to, to rest. Uh, I think we're going to see Vlaovic starting for the first minute again, again Chiesa. 
I don't know about this Chiesa Kostic Di Maria thing that one of them always needs to stay uh, out. Uh, it's a little bit complicated. If I were a leg, I wouldn't know how to solve it because Kostic needs to play on the left. We know that, Di Maria, uh, that Chiesa likes to play on the right as well, but at the same time, Chiesa a lot of time give his best when he plays uh, left wing, even if he's uh, right footed. Uh, but we know that Kostic, that's the only place where you can play. Um, I really don't know what would be the ideal squad uh, without having one of them uh, out, like Di Maria. would be nice to have Di Maria, Vlaovic and Kostic all together uh, and Chiesa all together on the on the field. That I would love it. I hope that Allegri find a way to make it uh, possible, even if our, our midfield would be a little bit... Uh, mm, not not properly covered the, that way, but Allegri is pay, paid to think about it, and and that's it. Uh, I don't know what else to say, guys. I needed this so bad. Does our season is our season finally amazing because we went to the semi final of Coppa Italia? No, no. But we needed this. We needed this so bad. Like we do need three points at Salernitana uh, on uh, on Tuesday. A team who is doing pretty well this year in Serie A. It's uh, you remember what happens uh, in the Juventus Salernitana uh, a few months ago with the 2 0, 2 2, the 3 2 disallowed by VAR uh, by mistake, uh, Milik's goal. So that's bad memories. I want a sport revenge on that. I want three points. They owe us three points. The soccer god owe us three points at Salerno. We have to go get them. Uh, <clears throat> But that's it. Thank you very much for uh, watching this, guy. Please like this video if you did. Subscribe to my channel to keep up to date to my comment and uh, talk to you next time. Ciao.